My name is David Collinge and I'm the Managing Director of Ian Mankin. On leaving school, I was trained as a press photographer and uh, about five years after doing that, we had an approach, the family business had an approach to, uh, to sell the business, which was then uh, our business, John Spencer Textiles, our weaving business. I said to my father at the time that, uh, you know, hang on, what happens if I want to come into the business? And uh, he said, well, I never really thought you were interested. And I said, well, I never really thought I was, but, uh, but I am now. So I joined the business, of which I'm the sixth generation to follow into. I learned to do every job through the mill, and uh, I wasn't allowed to move on from, from one job to another and, until I'd actually mastered, uh, mastered that job. My father gave me my first uh, sales contact, and uh, he said to me, I've heard there's a really difficult old chap down in London who uh, everybody has a bit of a problem dealing with, so um, he'll be a good guy to start with. So you can go and deal with him. And uh, so I was sent out on the train and uh, Ian Mankin was my, first, uh, was my first customer. He and I got on very well. He was a, a guy who, who really knew exactly what he wanted. He knew he had a very keen eye for design. He was very generous and he took me under his wing. He really became a mentor for me. Our relationship with Ian Mankin grew and grew. He'd started off buying all his fabrics uh, in India. Over a period of time, he transferred all the um, production back to ourselves. It came over the years that we, we were making about 85% of, uh, of the Ian Mankin collection. And so the two businesses became completely intertwined. The simple things always sell. People always want simple things. The most popular fabrics are still uh, the classic Ian Mankin tickings. Ian, started his business with tickings and basic utilitarian fabrics which he elevated to uh, an interior design use and they've been popular ever since and year on year they continue to, uh, to sell. When we're looking to make new designs we don't tend to ask for a lot of advice. We have a very small but, but great design team we have confidence in, in the designs that we're producing. They're not, they're not fancy, you know, but um, what we understand is we understand, particularly with stripes, which is what we're famous for, we understand what makes a stripe work, how to make the distances between the stripes work, you know, the, the balance of the colours. It's something that we're confident in, so we put together a new collection and uh, we can put it out and say, this is Ian Mankin, this is what we believe in. The mill in, in Burnley, is now the last remaining traditional cotton mill. We have, we have 30 looms in our, in our mill. In the 1920s, there were over 100,000 looms in the town. We're the last ones left, and the, being the last man standing, I think, is, uh, is something to be really proud of. You know, the business has grown over the years, but rather like our, our fabrics, you know, that growth has been, has been organic. The Ian Mankin business, when we took it over, was very much a, a London and the South East uh, business. We've rolled out the, the business now to, uh, to trade customers all over the UK and we now have distribution in 15 export countries. Really what we're doing is, uh, is spreading the, the word of what Ian Mankin's already done to a wider audience. The one thing I've learned being in the family business is patience because you have to have it in oodles. You have to have patience and, and, and broad shoulders because you, know, you, you carry a lot of responsibility. Textiles and the textile industry is my, is my heritage. It's, it's in my blood. It's what I do and it's, it's who I am. <laughs>